Hello YouTube, Eric here, um, paddling here right in Madison. This is Starkweather Creek near East Side Madison. It's my hood. Um, where I'm at, uh, let's see, that is the Milwaukee Street Bridge right there. Let's see, I think you can see that street sign. Clyde Gallagher, Hermina near east side. That's uh, Worthington up there and then the next one is Darbo. So if you're familiar with Madison, Worthington, Darbo, that's the hood on the east side. Uh, next bridge up is East Washington. The corner of East Washington, there's that mobile station. Some guys wearing their team red jerseys for the Bloods, you know, they're serving dope up there. I know when I say dope, I'm not talking about plant matter, okay? Uh, I'm talking about heroin and crack, that's what they're serving, but uh, for the record, uh, here in Madison, adult possession and use of cannabis was decriminalized almost 40 years ago. Second city in the nation, so uh, decades before California. Anyways, this is kind of a smart ass funny video. I recorded this originally two years ago and erased it before I uploaded it. I needed space on the card or something came up. So uh, the video is about this little brick building here. Um, now I'm not a television watcher. I've halfway through this year, 2016, I've yet to even turn a television on one time. Um, but uh, watched a little bit when friends or my family's had it on. But I don't, you know, I don't turn TVs on. I don't really watch them. Rarely, rarely, if ever, sit down in front of one. Um, but we all probably remember the show, Dirty Jobs, right, with Mike Rowe. Uh, about 13 years ago or something, the pilot episode, before that was even a series, the pilot episode, which is like a test episode, was recorded right here in Madison. And Mike Rowe was down in this building right here. There's a pumping station, and this is what you flush down the toilet ends up here, okay? Turds and nasties, we're talking. Used tampons and condoms and toilet paper, turds, all that, okay? And that first pilot episode of Dirty Jobs, the test episode, they were a couple places around southern Wisconsin, but they paddled through this. Or, I'm sorry, they didn't paddle through this, but they went and swam down in there, scooping turds and, and st waste out of there. Um, and the reason why I bring this up is uh, 13, 14 years ago, and I still remember one of the funniest lines I've ever heard on television, ever. The... Uh, the man that Mike Rowe is working with, he's a local guy here that runs the Honey Wagon. He's a, you know, he runs a pumping business. He pumps like sewage and, uh, um, what is it, septic tanks and uh, grease traps for businesses and stuff like that. Um, so anyways, Mike Rowe asked the guy, he says, hey, you weren't always in the sewage business, right? You're an educated man, right? The guy, the guy says, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm college educated, you know. In fact, I, uh, I was a psychiatrist for a, a bunch of years and, you know, I just... Mike Rose like, well, wait a minute, psychiatrist. It's got to be a pretty good, you know, paying job. It's clean. You're not swimming around in waste and, uh, you know, sit around a nice air-conditioned office or whatever. Mike says, so what made you uh, want to give that up and, and start a, a sewage pumping business, standing in people's waste? And here's where the funniest line I've ever heard on television. I'm sure it was scripted, but just some dry humor. The guy looks at Mike Rowe with a straight face. And he says, I got tired of dealing with people's shit. Now, he didn't use shit. I don't know what, what exactly he said, but that was the gist of it. He said, I got, I got tired of dealing with people's shit. Meaning, you know, he's a psychiatrist. He would listen to people whine about their stupid life, little, their liberal problems here in Madison, right? And so this dude got tired of listening to people's problems and he would rather swim in your turds, okay? <laughs> then listen to you whine about bullshit. I thought that was funny. I don't know if anybody else finds that funny, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I can even find a link on YouTube for that pilot episode. It's uh, it's probably here on YouTube. Maybe I'll find a link and I'll post that in the bottom and we'll see if we can find that line. Or even, we'll see if my memory is correct too, because it's been so long that, you know, memory might be warped a little bit. But, uh, Anyways, this creek, the last time I was here, I paddled all the way up. This goes right to, uh, goes under East Washington, which is Highway 151. And I got within a few hundred yards of the uh, Dane County Regional Airport, actually, before I turned around. I didn't want to go paddling up to the airport, because it's 
probably a security leak, uh, something, you know. But uh, can't go just like walking onto the airport. But uh, yeah, I paddled a few hundred yards, but, but I will warn people, if you go paddling through here, there's some weird rocks or something under that East Washington. I kind of scratched up my, uh, my last canoe. And, and back then I had a 12 footer, so it was a little easier to, I don't even know if I can turn around in this thing. I got a 16 foot boat now. But um, anyways, yeah, that's it. I might, uh, might turn the camera back on a couple minutes and do a little more recording for you. But yeah, that's my hood. Let's see, oh yeah, there's a, there's a street sign for you. Let's see, we can focus on that, Let's see what that is. Okay, well, not gonna focus. Oh, there it goes. All right. That's my hood. Um, I think that, well, maybe we can't see. The brick building that's right there in the corner of Milwaukee, that was the old Courtesy Auto with the, uh, the old V-dub tuners that used to race Volkswagens about, uh, Jeez, oh, man, about 15 years ago now. I was the Honda guy, so I wasn't really... I was friendly with those guys, but, uh, you know, Hondas are way more fun. But, uh, anyways, nice chat. I'll, uh, maybe I'll turn the camera back on to show a shot or two of the lake as I pedal back down there. Okay, back again. Thought I'd show you some more shots of uh, the local waters. This is Lake Monona now. I just paddled out that Stark Weather, Stark Weather Creek that has this time. Let's see if I can get a shot of the, it's the state capitol here. Smoke stacks for the power plant. Oh, sorry, I'm bouncing around on water, so uh, yeah, zoom is going to be pretty. Oh yeah, that's what we call the uh, mistake on the lake. <laughs> it's a Tank County Convention Center. A waste of taxpayer dollars. Um, not my dollars though, so it's just I hear everybody else complaining about it. Uh, let's see, uh, what else we got here? Here's the uh, Albrecht Botanical Gardens. Haven't been in there in a decade or two, but a pretty cool spot in the winter time to go in there. It's like tropical, uh, all kinds of tropical plants, big greenhouse. It's like a jungle in there almost, even in the dead of winter. Um, so this is Albrecht Park. This is where uh, this is the one side of the lake we used to really catch a lot of muskies on back in the day. And uh, don't have any photos out here to show you today, but uh, when I talk about muskies, I'm talking about, I mean, we don't, we would never take photos of anything uh, under about 42 inches. Anything 42 inches or under, we wouldn't even really want to take out of the water. We just get those hooks out. And uh, what I would describe is get back to work. You know, get your bait back in the water. You ain't gonna catch a fish. You don't got a bait in the water, so uh, you catch one of those little bitty 42s that, you know, <laughs> some guys take pictures of the 36 bragging about them. 42s are just like, get that thing back in the water and get back to work. But, uh, yeah, when I talk about muskies, you know, we, we take pictures of the, the fish larger than 42. Caught a lot of mid-40s and upper 40s right over here. And then on the, the other side of the lake at the... Uh, uh, Old Brick Park over there, which, or no, I'm sorry, this is Old Brick. It's Old Inn on the other side of the lake. And, uh, call that the gay park, because, uh, it's a gay park. Well, the, um, I'm glad the Madison police actually shut that down a little over a decade ago, but that was the spot, an absolutely disgusting aspect of Madison. Like, when I was a little kid, that's where they sent me to day camp over there at Olin. But <clears throat> about 15 years ago, well, less than 14, they shut it down. Less than about 14, 15 years ago. Um, that was known as the Madison police. I watched an interview with the police chief who said that they decided to finally shut down what was going on in that park because there was a list on the internet of places to meet random strangers for gay sex and that was like in the top 10 in the nation and gay people would go hump out in the woods and on the paths and every, it was absolutely disgusting people that didn't know would just go think it's a regular park and you could just walk there because it's a regular park until the gays took it over and uh yeah, yeah, I don't care what people do behind closed doors, okay? Like, I don't really give a shit about gay people. That They're fine, whatever, do whatever they want. They're all right, I don't, I don't care. 
Just don't put it in my face. And don't do it. Don't sit. Don't bend your gay friend over a log in a public park in broad daylight or at night. Or do that behind closed doors in your gay clubs or whatever you want to do. But anyways, thankfully the police shut that down because people like there'd be old people that didn't know what that was, and they'd be they'd go on a little nature walk and they'd find people. Yeah, that's this is Madison. <laughs> Oh boy, Madison. <clears throat> okay, enough enough talking about Madison. I'm doing my float, catch my sunburn. Take care, folks. Well, this is interesting. I've seen some large boats and houseboats out here, but I don't know what that is. Oh, oh sorry. Got it off, off frame there. That's a strange look. It looks like a homemade houseboat or something. As long as it's got a barrel of beer on there, it's all right with me. And I'm not even a beer drinker, but hey, this is Madison. The beer state. So I was just asking if they got a barrel on there. And that's what they were pulling over for. You see that right up front right there? Respect. I'm not even really a beer drinker, but I'll have a few every now and then. I guess that's what they're doing. This is Madison. Remember that Playboy magazine used to rate University of Wisconsin-Madison the number one party school in the nation. So folks, I'm not a party around here.